Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. Welcome to the beautiful December the 24th, Christmas Eve. We're getting close. One more day and it will be Christmas Day. It's coming so quickly. I hope all of you got all your shopping done, all the food bought, everybody's ready to enjoy their day. Whether you spend it tonight with your family and your loved ones or you celebrate tomorrow. Or maybe you do both. But I wish you a great day great day today. I want to thank you for your interest coming in today on Christmas Eve to receive your daily messages and these are tarot and oracle messages for you. This is a collective and general reading which means some of it may resonate with us and some of it may not but that's okay. This is like I said a collective reading. If you want clarity you know what to do. Just click that little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it'll take you into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below. When you do subscribe, click the bell button and you'll get notified immediately. And I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing and subscribing. We start off with our very first card and it is our tarot card and you've got the Ten of Michael which actually is the Ten of Swords in traditional tarot. And it says, and you know, tens always talk about um, end of cycles okay completion full circle and this and it's about a situation that some of you may have today or you've had it in the past and you're really finally free of it now it's ended okay and there's going to bring it's going to bring in new opportunities for happiness uh to come into you that's going to come and follow up on this and i need you to know that you need to put the past behind you okay and that's what the 10 the 10 of swords talks about usually swords are challenging it's finally over a situation has ended and you're finally free. You probably saw this time coming and have been welcoming it. There's going to be new opportunities for happiness that will now come. It's possible that you'll have a sense of sadness, but this card more often brings with it a great sense of relief. If you've been struggling, the worst is over. In traditional tarot, this shows the man laying face down and he's got all these swords in his back. He felt defeated, depleted, he couldn't get up, he couldn't move forward, and he felt a loss. Not anymore, because this means you're moving on. Let go of what you've been holding on to. Have faith that your angels will walk with you into the beauty of a brand new day. Okay? Trust that things are going to get better. That's what this card, this card signifies. The message that comes in is beautiful. So, you know what? Perhaps you're, you've been pushing yourself too hard as well, because when I think of the graphics on the traditional tarot with all the swords in the back, you know, you may have been pushing yourself way too hard, but you still have to push, put the past behind you and free yourself of any dependency, anything, that, any crutch, anything that you're leaning into that you know isn't healthy for you, that you know isn't going to help you, okay, to move forward in a positive direction. But know that the worst is over. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Now you're going to see things happen in a more favorable way. Coming in with your, your um, messages, your beautiful messages of, you know, uh, wisdom of, you know, the beautiful nature's wisdom card, nature's whispers card. You have been given it, given you are worth it. And you are worth it. You know, you've dealt with your trials and tribulations, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, some of you. So, you know, check in with yourself. Know you are feeling what you're feeling at this moment, okay? Are you being the person you aspire to be? Remember that you determine how you feel. Nobody else can entertain that. We can't entertain the thought that someone's going to make us happy because they won't. We always get disappointed, okay? There's always things that, you know, when they show their true colors. Uh, they're only human like we are and we can't expect someone can change our life and make us happy. You are constantly choosing to feel the way you feel. We have the ability to change how we think and what we think we become. So it's best we turn things around and try to see the positive in a situation. You're moving on. Uh, you know, the Ten of Michael, the Ten of Swords says you've healed through this. You're moving on. You're getting up now. You're able to have freedom to move forward towards your goals and happiness. We are all human and there are times that we don't feel 100%. So remember, to access the highest level of emotions now, you need to tap into your higher self. Don't settle for less than you deserve, okay? Don't settle for anything less than you deserve. Do your utmost to achieve more 
love more and be your best beautiful beautiful message so you know what you you're worth it you you are worthy of whatever it is that you want the bad times are over my friends you're moving on what do you need to surrender to well I'm not surprised you need to surrender to play Wow so take a break from overlooking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation so you know what you're worthy you're worthy of having some fun step up and enjoy yourself today okay you've got over hard times you've dealt with that defeat and loss and feeling stuck and all of those things okay now you can move forward go on out and enjoy yourself this I mean it's Christmas Eve for crying out loud go and have fun with your family and your friends and count your blessings and think about don't think about the past think about 2020 and this brand new bright positive year coming towards you have fun today this is Christmas Eve for sure what do we have from our Lennerman well you hold the key my beautifuls you hold the key okay my beautiful souls you can the gate is open the gift is there reach in and take it know that you're worthy of your happiness your peace and all all the abundance that's coming into you in 2020 this is beautiful whoops what have we got from our tea leaf messages the funnel it's a period of frustration lessons to be learned well we talked about that you know we talked about the frustrations that you had with the ten of swords and now it's over I want you to realize this that you can push past this okay this is this is all about you moving towards a new direction okay making yourself stronger you've learned the lessons from the past and now you're going to be able to go out and smile again and enjoy life again and feel free again beautiful that's what this is surrender to play what is it you need to know what is, what are the messages the answers from the angels gave you look for a sign wow look for a sign you know the angels have a very special and specific answer to your question you can expect to see signs right away that will have deep meaning to you personally on a personal level many people see white feathers to indicate that their angels are with them or they may smell scents from their childhood that they connect with a family member signs require focused attention though you need to pay attention if you're seeing something come into you and it's repetitious then take time to think about it okay take time to think about it so be aware and awake to the possibilities don't mistake synchronistic events for mere coincidences at this time they are a message especially designed for you beautiful beautiful let's see what we have to focus on today December the 24th besides having a great time enjoying our family having fun realizing that the hard times are behind us and that we're worthy of the happiness and everything that we have coming into us the signs that divine spirit is sending us we've got the key to open up the gate and just reach in and take the gift and the blessings coming into us what do we need to focus on today divine spirit what do we need to focus on please give us this one card for February the, or pardon me for December the 24th boy somebody whose birthday is February 24th just came across to me I wonder who that is okay here we go you can let me know one of these steps forward Ooh, look at them all well we can't take all of those come on divine spirit all I want is one one card please one card please one card are you gonna make me reach in and take it sorry guys but sometimes this happens when I'm shuffling we only need one please one card there are a lot you gave us two so you know what it's it's December the 24th let's see what they gave us well you got let go of the past I said that here things are over the ten of swords is over this is the end of cycles let it go and know that you're worthy of a brand new a new direction abundance and fulfillment aren't you glad we had two perfect abundance and fulfillment your gift is just waiting there for you to reach in and take also it's Christmas Eve for those of you that are with family and friends your loved ones enjoying a meal around the table sharing and caring and giving and receiving this of course pertains to a beautiful beautiful December the 24th Christmas Eve so let go of the past realize we're moving into a brand new a brand new put that there so you can see it brand new future 2020 well my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac 
enjoy your beautiful Christmas Eve tonight. I will be as well. Uh, mine is going to be quiet because I'm spending my day tomorrow, the 25th, with my family. Wishing you a beautiful, beautiful day today. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. And know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon.